I got so excited about the setup that I forgot to actually plug my mic on to me. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Sorry about that. I've got a unboxing and just my initial thoughts uh, on this Mai Han pen. Um, I've been seeing this everywhere on um, YouTube. So I'm just going to give you my thoughts on it and the initial writing experience for it. I have purchased the Mai Han A1, which is the knockoff version of the Pilot Vanishing Point pen. Uh, sorry about that, had to blow my nose. Um, this is the Pilot Vanishing Point in Blue Carbonese. Um, some people might ask, well, why did you buy the Mai Han if you already had a Pilot Vanishing Point? And the answer is this is a much less expensive pen than the Vanishing Point. And if I'm gonna knock it about town with me, if something happens and I lose this pen, I won't cry as much as if I lose this pen. Um, so that's why I got it. I wanna actually put it in as I go back to work. Um, I wanna have it in my like everyday carry carrying arsenal. So with that being said, I've already unpackaged this. I bought this one off of uh, Amazon. It runs retail around $40.99 US and let's open it up to see what it looks like and then I'll do a really quick writing sample and a setup. So you get the box like this. Um, mine had plastic wrap all around it so once I got the plastic wrap undone, very simple cardboard box, nothing thrilling there. Um, and then you open it up and we have a nice filling system mechanisms are all here so it looks like we have one cartridge converter um, one this is really nice actually uh, a pipette a pipette sorry this little plastic thing right here and then the other one is a spare cartridge which is always a nice to have that even pilot does not put into their pens so kudos for my Han for doing this got the cartridge converter we've got a spare um, cartridge itself. So this is great because all you got to do is open this up and fill it with some ink. Seal it back up. Bada boom, bada bing. There's that. And the little pipette to suck up any of your um, fountain pen ink. Instructions, filling mechanisms, etc. And yeah the cartridge converter. So I will probably go ahead and use the cartridge converter first, but I'm really happy that they did um, provide these other filling mechanisms and holding containers for ink. That was very nice. Then the pen itself comes in this nice Lee all paper. It's got a elastic band that's holding this down right here. This is just a tiny bit of a struggle because it's holding it down very firmly. And um, there's, I don't think anything else underneath here. Nothing else in the box. So very simple packaging. Really do appreciate that one. And then we have the Mai Hong pen. And I got mine in the matte black. Um, Around the belly band, you see the Mai Han, there you go, the branding around the center barrel piece. And I don't know if it's going to pick it up really well in this camera, but there's like some metal um, kind of engraving that looks like little signs or symbols. Um, I wanted mine with the, the clip. It doesn't bother me. I'm used to using the clip in my Pilot Vanishing Point. Here is the top of it, and because it is a retractable pen, let's see it comes out, it is, you don't have to worry about finials. So there's that. Mine is in a extra fine, I do believe I got this one in because I'm gonna be using it in my Hobonichi weeks, and I use an A6 Midori, um, plain notebook as my daily driver for my EDC, which I'll probably continue in 2023 because it's working out for me quite well. All right, so to undo this, let's see here. 
unscrew this here. It's like my other one. And then we have the actual nib unit itself. And this does look exactly like, almost like the Pilot Vanishing Point. And um, I switched out my nib here from a fine to an extra fine, but I will unscrew this one and we will see that it's very similar in style, except I've got the cartridge uh, converter in this one. And then here's the nib unit. So Pilot Vanishing Point on the left-hand side the Mahjong or Maihan, I'm sorry, A1 on the right. Pretty much identical. This one's already situated. Let me just put this back. Um, the Maijan for me is situated on to do the um, converter. So if I use this unit to hold ink, you've got to put this over it to protect the compression and the clicking mechanism, the knock um, on it. But I'm going to use the converter. So unlike the vanishing point, there's no like places to do it. You just got to make sure that when you put it back in that this slides into the unit. So I'm assuming, voila, it pulls off and they were nice enough to have one already in here. So let me just pull this out. I'm going to go ahead and put that back in here with the other one, with the stopper on it. And I'm going to go ahead and fill mine up with the converter. So over here to the side, I've got some Lexington Gray Noodler's ink. I'm going to go ahead and just uncap this and, oops. Okay, let me just pull this back out because I want to make sure that this is all the way down first. And then I'll suck up some ink here. And this might take a couple of tries to get some ink to go. kind of hard to tell uh, with these if the ink artery was into the pen or not, but I'm going to assume that it was. I can see some ink sloshing down there, so I think I'm good to go. Take the nib unit off, put this back in, and with this one, you're going to see this little slit right here, so the uh, pen itself has to go into that slip unit right there you know that's in and then we're going to go ahead we screw that back together and we should be good to go all right let's get this out of the way and let's use my i'm going to go ahead and make sure i put the cover Sorry about that, I'm trying to blow open this bag that the pin came in so I can put the cover for the in unit so I don't lose it. Put all the goodies back into the box, so there. And let's do a writing example. And I'm gonna just use my Tomo River Galen leather notepad. And I still have room in this one. Zoom in, and let's see how this one works. So this is the Mahjong. Ooh, very smooth. A1. And actually, let me write this down a little bit further. Oops, sorry about that. M-A-J-O-H-N. My John, this is the A1. I have this in an extra fine. It's a still nib. For a extra fine pen, this is writing buttery smooth. I'm pleasantly surprised. And now I can understand what the hype was about. 
and I'm writing with Lexington Gray ink from Noodler, so it's extremely dry on Tomo River paper. So this is Noodler's Lexington Gray. This is such a buttery smooth experience, even for an extra fine, I'm kind of blown away. Um, this does write as well if, as well as the um, vanishing point. So that is what this writing sample looks like. And I give this pen two thumbs up. So if you can't do a deep dive off and get the vanishing point like this one or one in a similar color, this is a fantastic alternative. I would definitely recommend this. Um, I, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in below. Please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, please give it two thumbs up. Really appreciate you sticking to the end. Until next time, stay safe. Happy holidays. Bye.